good morning. I'm trying to work out where to look on my phone. Am I looking at you? I think I am. I'm recording on my phone today, as you can tell. I haven't got my camera in my bag. And yeah, it's tricky to know where to look. I think that's it. Is that it? Is that you? Anyway, I'm, I'm far too close to the camera for my liking. I'm going to stay away. Anyway, I've done the school run and I need to nip to the shops. I need to go to Boots, Tesco, maybe Home Bargains, places like that, just to pick up some bits and bobs and groceries. And I just fancied filming my day. Didn't really plan this because I didn't even put my camera in my bag. I've just literally thought, hmm, I just felt like vlogging because that's what I'm doing. And it's one of those kind of like misty, like dark days. Ooh, misty dark days. That's why my hair's all like that just to explain why I look like this, you know. I'm not planning on buying much, just, you know, bits and bobs, but we'll see what happens. You never know with me. I've got a spot on my lip there, a spot on my lip there. It's really annoying. I'm tempted to stick a gem on it and pretend it's like a piercing or something. What do you reckon? Ugh, it, and it hurts when I go like that. Because I go like that all the time. Anyway. Let's get on with the day. So I've come into Boots first because I need a new mascara and I want to get some tanning drops for my face. So oh, I don't know where to begin for mascaras really. I've had this one before I think. These are 2 for 12 on a Maybelline. Yeah, I've seen a Rimmel off this summer as well. Yeah, 3 for 2 on Rimmel and I've seen this one. This is a new one apparently. The scandalize volume. I've tried to scandalize one before, but it was a few years ago. And which one was it? One of these. I think it might be that one. I'm not sure. But I like the sound of it being volume. I do like a bit of volume. So I think I'm going to give that a go if I can't see anything else. The thing is, with it being three for two, it's like, hmm, kind of tempted to get something else like this primer. Ultimate Boost Volume Primer. Three for two on L'Oreal. I think most of them are three for two. I've tried that before and it's okay. What else? Anything new here? I think I'm going to try the new one from Rimmel. So these are quite interesting. New in number seven is Dark Circle Corrector and then these which are pastes. So face pastes. Is it a mask? A hydrating one, a clearing, and what's the other one? That's the green one. Seeker Rescue, don't know what that means. I'm tempted to give that a go. And a resurfacing one, I like the sound of both of them. Reduces the appearance of dark circles in just one week. So they're 18 pounds. I'm tempted to give one a go, it's like an overnight mask. You wash it off in the morning. I'll be honest, I don't look at number seven that often. So I've not seen these ones either. I don't know how long these have been out. So nourishing hand and nail polish, foot balm. I think the packaging's kind of lured me in on this. I'm gonna try something, it could be the paste, I think. Every time I come in, I look at this Revolution range and I really wanna try it. I don't know where to start though. Have any of you tried these or any of these? Let me know how you're getting on which one I should start with. Vitamin C one. Always like a bit of vitamin C. Oh, CBD. Mm. Oh, salicylic acid, always good. And look at the prices, quite good prices. Replenishing essence spray, clarifying spray. Mm. Oh, CBD tonic, can I drink it as well? 10 pounds. Nourishing, clarifying, restoring, cleanse and condition skin tone. I might wait for a three for two offer for those. I always like to have a look at the clearance bit. There's not actually much here today, but I've seen this, a slim fast shake for 25p. So it's got lots of protein in it and vitamins. I mean, it's worth a go for 25p, isn't it? Is it going out of date? What's wrong with it? Oh, July. Right, definitely having that one. I've seen this as well, Prime to Glow, the benefit set. It's got minis in there. That, I don't know, 16 25 good price for those. I have to have a quick Google and have a look. And then I've seen this the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I do really like this, but I don't think I'm going to get it today. 13.50. It's 
worth having a look on these little sections get yourself a bargain this is what i came in for as well the tanning drops now i've not tried this one in the face but i've tried it in the body and i'm not that keen on the body one so is that a bad idea getting the face one it's going to be pretty much the same stuff isn't it i don't know because i normally use the oh, what's it called the clarins one but i don't have a clarins stand in here so yeah leave it it's not a good idea is it if you don't like that one don't go for that one but i can't see anything else for the face apart from like a little moisturizer where is it things like this but i'd prefer to have drops to put it in my own moisturizer oh i like the look of this miraculous oil that you put on before or after shaving Ugh, at the moment i'm getting ingrown hairs and it's really doing my head in with the itchiness so how much is this 8.99 ah sensitive precision removes peach fuzz and exfoliates <gasps> derma planning i wanted to do this 30 quid yeah i really want to shave my face like the whole thing don't know whether i should go to a salon first risky Removes peach fuzz and exfoliates. Derma planning. Oh, oh, tempted. I'm gonna do it. They've still got loads in their Christmas section. I'm trying to get rid of it, half price. And what do I like the look of? I guess this is a good deal, five pound. You get all of that in there, the sugar crush. And this one looks like a good one. It's got a eyeliner in it and a little eye, what is this? Eye cream? Yeah. So that's three pounds. Nothing really kind of tempted me, I have to say. So I haven't seen this range before. It's called Ingredients. It's like a Boots own simple kind of skincare range. What we got? We've got hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid and caffeine eye cream. I have no idea how to say this, but it's that one. Hemp seed oil, salicylic acid glycolic acid and vitamin C. Quite a good price as well. Five pounds, six pounds. I kind of like the look of this one. I always like salicylic acid. I get the vibe that it's trying to be like the ordinary, kind of like simple skincare, you know? Anyone tried this? Let me know. Now I might be a bit old school, but I do like a soap. You can't beat a bar of soap. And I've seen these three new ones from Soap and Glory. So there's this one, purifying and refreshing so that one's a bit more scrubby i think it's got little bits of walnut in it i think and that's five pounds but they're all five pounds actually and then this one is nourishing and smoothing what's in this one shea butter and this one's supremely cleansing and hydrating with rosehip oil so it's buy one get one half price definitely going to try one the other one's half price do i get two do i get something else Right, I'm in Home Bargains now, and one of the first aisles is like a mega kind of fitness, health kind of aisle. Loads of whey protein powders, creatine powders, BCAAs, they've got the whole lot here, and protein snacks. I don't think I'm gonna try any of the snacks, but I'm tempted to try this one, the BCAA. So if you're gonna do like a hip workout or an intensive workout, it's meant to, I don't know, give you a boost and, I don't know, do something good. But maybe I should research it a bit more and then come back. How much is that? That's 7 99 We've got the water bottles and shake bottles. So, a big selection if you want to stock up on this kind of thing. Yeah, and Optimum Nutrition. I think they're quite good as well. Yeah. 9 99 for just standard whey protein. Yeah, is this the one in Holland and Barrett? I think it might be. Uh, Optilene is 9 99 and then the standard one is 14 99 19 99 for the gold standard way. I'm pretty sure that's the one, like the standard one, like the go-to one for whey powder. I kid you not, Mother's Day stuff is out already. I mean, really. That's a bit extreme, just had Christmas. Um, right, and I thought that was bad, and I've come around the corner to a whole aisle of Easter eggs and Easter stuff. I mean, really, seriously. It's January 7th. Who's actually gonna buy this? 
Who's going to buy this now? Do you like a cream egg though? I have to say, just put it out there. I'm in the kitchen wear now and I quite like the look of this storage tub or storage square. So you lift this piece to open it and then to seal it, you just pop that down and that seals it. And there's a grey, a white and a pink. I think they look quite nice. And I'm due to organise my food cupboard and I think they would come in handy. I like the pink ones, pink and grey. I'm thinking, and there's a bigger one. So that one's 179, and a slightly bigger one. This one, and that's oh, I don't know, 199. It says there, 1.7 liter. Ah, uh, 2.3, but they don't have that one. Don't know where that is. I've seen this planner, which I think is really sweet. Happy, positive, grateful. So it's a gratitude journal. And if you have a look, so things like. Today I'm grateful for, positive things today, a thought for today, you know, things to make you feel positive. Three things that made me happy. So I really like that, but I have journals coming out my ears, so I'm not going to get that one. But worth having a look if you're after one. I think it's like £1.50, a bit of a bargain. So I'm in Tesco now, having a quick look in the F&F &F section, but majority is on sale and I'm not going to lie, I'm not loving the sale at the moment. A few bits, but generally, yeah. I like this though, which is not in the sale, annoyingly. A cardi with little bubbles on, cream colour. That is quite nice. £22. Do I need another cardi though? That's the question. I think you've got to be in the mood for sales rummaging for clothes. And I don't know, I'm just not really in that kind of mood at the moment like this like a polka dot dress long length three quarter sleeves and it's kind of like tiered as well it's hard to see when there's so many polka dots yeah nice little ruffle at the bottom 25 that one don't know if i could pull off that length though it would look nice with a leather jacket over the top oh cardi i've got a problem with cardis at the moment i'm just loving them Love this colour, like a whiny maroon colour, £18. Now I think I like the look of these, hard to say when you aren't trying them on, but it's a nice colour, like a khaki green, skinny leg and then it's got a roll up and it would look nice with a stripe. So I may try them if I'm in a, if I can be bothered to try them on that is, £20. Quick look at the Fox and Ivy section, there's a few things that are reduced to clear but Prices aren't exactly reduction, reduced to clear price in my opinion. It's only a pound off of this frame, for example. Anyway, I've seen this tray here, and this is 12 pounds, and I wanted something like this to go on my poof in my living room. When the kids are in bed, I can get this out and put a candle on it or put a cup of tea on it or something like that. But ideally, I wanted a bigger one, but I can't find one anywhere. So I may have to just go for a little one like this for now kind of like something that size but this isn't a tray it's like a hanging up frame maybe even bigger it's quite a big poof candles I have a candle problem I think I just can't get enough you see these these melts three pound fifteen here I got mine from cherries for two pounds so yeah bargain one of these aren't the cherries ones are so I found this one instead it's much bigger but it is gold but I am going to be changing my wallpaper to have hints of gold in it. So I think I'm going to try this one instead. It's quite weighty as well. Pricey, £25, but if it looks good, I'm going to go with it. Half price tea fowl, frying pans, small, medium, and a walkie type one. So I'm going to stock up because mine is so manky. Definitely need a clear out. So I've got my little selection there. Right, let's have a look at the healthy snacks. Well, I guess they're healthy. Nuts. So the grey stuff is half price, 149. Veggie protein or smoky barbecue. And then these, honeycomb caramel wow bakes, 94 calories per square. Yeah, I'll give them a go. Oh, Del Paso, 195. For the kits, I like these. I'm not trying a burrito one though, and I do have some mints, so I think I'm gonna give that a try. <coughs> Normally I just go for the fajita ones. Oh, gluten free. 
Regina. I love a Regina Blitz. Three pounds and that one's just out there waiting for me. Having that, I absolutely love Teddy Fleece Bedding. It is just like the best. And this one is reduced to clear. So 12 25 from 35 and that's for a double. King size is 14. I've got a feeling I've got a queen. I don't know. I might have to message you because I can't remember. But it's half and half. So one side look is grey and then the other half is like this sparkly fleece. Oh, I wish they had a queen. That's my shopping pretty much done. I've picked up a few bits to try. So I've got this. Thai red coconut veg pot. So I'm going to have that for lunch one day. See how I go with that. And then this one as well. Soulful one pot. West African peanut and chickpea. Yeah, so when I'm doing a kid dinner or a keto dinner, Ian and I want something different. I'm going to try those. So I've arrived at school, I'm a bit early, so I'm going to have a little snack because I haven't eaten anything. Have I? No, I don't know, but I'm very hungry. So I'm going to try the sea salt and pepper, graze, nuts, and veggie things. Mmm. 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 -mm. Cashews, edamame beans, chickpeas. That's really good. This is my kind of snack. I'll always go savoury over sweet for snack. Hello guys, I'm back home. It's actually the next day. Didn't have time to film this last night. So I thought I'd just quickly sit down and go through the items that I bought because I was like, oh, I like that, I like that, but what did I actually get? So I'll start with boots. Where's my boots bag? I did it. I did it. I got the V Sensitive Precision Face Kit. Removes peach fuzz and exfoliates. Very excited and very scared in equal measure. You know, it could go horribly wrong. So I'm gonna do it guys. I'm gonna do like a review, I think. See how we go. Now I already removed my sideburns with one of those little facial razors, you know, for your eyebrows and stuff, because something needed to happen with this situation. And I got desperate, shaved it, never looked back until I got a beard and then I shaved it and beard, shave, beard, shave. That's the situation. But I've always been a bearded lady. So that was how I coped with being a bearded lady. This might be the way now. So I'm gonna do it on that area, see what happens. And then I might just gradually move in until I'm doing my nose. Actually very excited. So I'll let you know how I get on. Pricey, but if it works, 30 quid well spent is what I say. To be used once every two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I might do it tonight actually. Treat myself to shaving my face. Next up is a Soaps and Dreams soap from Soap and Glory. I went for the scrubby one. It is scrubby, isn't it? I hope it is. It's got bits of scrub in it. Oh, I thought it was a bit more scrubby than that, to be honest. It does smell nice though. Scented with the cool of fruity, purifying and refreshing. Mm. I think I will actually have a bath tonight. I've got that feeling. It's bath night. My mandatory once a month bath. Next, the Slim Fast Shake, the 25p one. Where to go for 25p is what I say. Next up, Scandalize Volume On Demand Mascara from Rimmel. Let's do a sniff test. Yes, it's okay. I sniff all of my makeup. I don't know why. All products really. And it's okay. It passes. So I thought I'd give that a try. It's one of their newer ones, I think. Running out of my Primark one. I thought I'd try that instead. That's it from Boots. I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit dark um, and I'm sorry about the state of my face. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry about this whole situation. It's really dark and I don't want to put on like full lighting, which is probably good actually because you will see more of me. I'm quite happy with this dim lighting situation. Next up from Home Bargains, I bought a shallow tray. This isn't to go in Effie's room. It looks like it should be. I didn't realise it had this sticker on there to be honest. I just like the fact that it wasn't clear. So this is going to go underneath my bed and I'm going to put books in there because I have a pile of books in my room and I'm trying to get rid of piles of stuff. Do you remember from one of my last videos? This actually peels off so I'm going to take that sticker off and just have the white tray. It has a pink lid as well and that was, I can't remember, £3 something. Annoyingly I've put my receipt somewhere. I have to put the price somewhere in this video so that you know but it was, I think it was £3.50. Then I bought some of the storage jars, so I have three small ones for £1.79, 
and three large ones for $1.99, I believe the price is. So not much in a price difference, really, for the size. What I love about these is the lock kind of top, as I showed earlier in the video, it's really easy to seal it. And I think they look quite neat. So three of each to organize my food cupboard. And then I've got two big storage tubs, Ooh, that big, big ones, times two for the kids, for all of their toys that they got, for all of the chaotic Christmas stuff in there. And then I don't know where they're gonna go. That's the next step. I'm go I'll worry about that at some other point where the box is actually gonna live. But for now, stuff's gonna go into the box. They have a pink lid, a gray lid, and they had a blue lid as well. But I went for those two, mainly because the blue one was right at the bottom. And I was like, oh, I'll stick with gray, because that's at the top. And the price of those were, again, can't remember, I'll have to let you know. Next up, I went to Tesco and I bought the tray, I bought the gold one. When I got it home, Ian was like, oh, it matches our little table that we have in there, which I didn't even twig at the time, but it does. I have a little table, which is gold like this. So it'll actually go quite nicely. And that's gonna go, where am I? I'm balanced on a booklet. I know, I need a new, um, what do you call it? Stand and you're balanced on a book, see? <sighs> Hard times. Anyway, that's gonna go in my living room on my poof. I'm gonna have candles and probably cups of tea on there. That was 30 pounds, no, 25 pounds. So yeah, more than I anticipated, but it's, it's really weighty and the quality is really good. So I think I am gonna stick with this one. And then I bought some new pans. So I bought a tea fowl small pan for a nice fat omelet. I do like a fat omelet. So I use a little pan and have a fat omelet so that's my fat omelette pan. <laughs> that's what they actually say on the label. For fat omelettes, buy this pan. Then I bought the next size up from this, which is about that size. It's downstairs with filth on it, so I don't want to show you that. And then I bought a woki one. It's not quite like wok size, but it's wok in style, because it's got like a high edge, which is good for me, because I, I, like, I'm a bit heavy handed on the stirring, and bits fly out, so, I think the food bill would be halved because I won't be using so much food when cooking. That's the plan. So these were half price and they were, I have a receipt for this one. To be honest, I don't know if this is a good deal, but it said half price. I thought, oh, half price, it must be good. But I don't know if you can find them cheaper elsewhere. I don't know. Fat omelette one, 12 pounds. My dirty one downstairs, 16 pounds. My woki one, 17 pounds 50. Then I bought two lunch boxes for the kids. They're just the system of ones and a pink one, blue one, and it has the knife and fork in the top. They just needed a new one. I was getting into a bad habit of putting sandwiches in a sandwich bag. Waste of plastic, gonna go for one plastic tub that I can reuse again and again. So these are good quality ones, aren't they? They were two pounds each. So that was it. I actually went out for a mascara and some face tanning and a bit of grocery shopping. And this is what I came back with. So, but I think I got good stuff. It's stuff that I needed. And it was stuff on the list, the mental list. So, well, actually that wasn't on the list, but I couldn't not, could I? I mean, look at my face, I need this. I'm gonna try it, definitely gonna try it later. So that's it for this random little shop. I didn't plan it, like I said, just got my phone out and did it. Sometimes I overthink videos and I think I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna show that and then I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna do that. But I've decided just to wing it. In fact, the book that you're balanced on, it's called Improvise. Less push, more pause, better results. And then it's basically a book on winging it, just do it. Just don't think about it, just do it. Just get on with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So more random videos coming. The shopping trip you saw is one of my typical kind of days out, nipping out for bits of shopping. So if you liked it, let me know. And I'm gonna to continue to do more random bits and bobs, basically, more random vlogs, I feel. Anyway, that's it for today, didn't wanna to make it too long. And I'll see you in my next video, which is going to be, hmm, I have another vlog coming. I have a healthy update coming. I have a wardrobe update coming. And I have meal planning coming. So yeah, a bit of a selection coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll know when all of my videos are coming. Apart from that, I'll see you in my next video.